Hello, hello, hello. I am so excited to be here and share this with you. Um, this is one of the, my guided um, things that came up to me and I'm just so excited to share this with you uh, because I get to combine the two things that I'm really passionate about. So that would be art and uh, using my gifts now, right? So using mandalas for meditations right so i have notes because this a lot of this stuff was channeled to me not that i didn't know about it but um i just want to make sure that i touch on everything that um i heard from above so to speak so um it's a three-day series and today is going to be uh about talking about how to use pre printed mandalas so you know when you see like the printed mandalas on the internet or you can buy one of those coloring books that are full of mandalas that's what i'm talking about so that, what's great about that is that if you um don't feel like actually doing a drawing and you're just feeling like coloring and getting into the meditative state through that through color um you can choose a mandala that's already been printed and a lot of these have like the sacred geometry, which is like using the same uh, geometric form, let's say a circle that repeats itself over and over and they just fit perfectly all around. And that has a connection, right? It connects you to your higher self uh, without you even knowing it. So the way that you use that um, for meditative purposes to connect with your higher self um number one is you want to look at the mandalas like just like the picture like the drawing and choose the one that you like so it's pretty simple just listen to your intuition what's the first one that called you to be like oh i want to do that one and then just pick that one and work on that one so a lot of times when we have a lot of uh, pictures to choose from or like a book we will look through it and we'll say oh this one looks nice and well let me see what else is there and then you keep uh you keep turning the page or you keep looking to see what else is there and then you kind of forget like which is the one that really called your name the first time so just try to listen to your intuition with that and pick the mandala that that caught your eye the first time and work on that so that's number one and it's already starting to to connect you to your own intuition by listening to that, right? So that once you start working on that, then you want to choose some type of music that you like. So choose some type of meditative music or rain water or um, classical music, anything or instrumental, anything that's instrumental that doesn't have words so that you can start, uh, hi Ellen, nice to see you, thanks for coming. Um, anyway, so I was saying just choose some type of meditative music that you like. So meditative, like um, nature sounds, like the rain or the ocean, anything that you like or classical music, anything that's instrumental and doesn't have words. Why? Because this way the music is just going to bring you into that meditative state without you having to think of the words that uh, they're singing, right? And if you're choosing some type of uh, instrumental music that is the background music for a song that you know, then that's not really going to work that well because you're going to have that song playing in your mind. So you want something instrumental like, you know, like classical music or meditative or that type of stuff, okay? So you want to be playing that. And my preference is to put the music on kind of loud so that it fills the room that I am in while I am working. Um, but if that's not a choice for you, if you have like a noisy area or you really like having your headphones on, then use your headphones so that you are in that space of that music, right? So you don't want to be um, listening to all of these other things that are happening around you because that's going to distract you from you being able to connect to your own higher self, right? Okay, so number one is choose the mandala that call your name first, like the first one that you really liked, just pick that one and start working on that and fill the room with some type of music that you like. Now, if you have um, limited time, then you can set like a timer, like, okay, I'm going to do 15 minutes on this and just, you know, commit to doing that. But if you have more time, then just let yourself go. Okay, so this is for the printed mandalas. Um, you can print them, you can choose for, uh, one from uh, a book and you can use any type of coloring material that you have or that you like. So you can use color pencils, markers, 
pens, crayons, whatever you like, painting, anything that you have at home, you can use to, to do it. I don't recommend painting so much for the pre-printed ones if you're not uh, already doing that type of stuff because then you're going to have to deal with how do I use the paint. But mostly everybody knows how to use uh, color pencils or anything that's dry. So choose something that you are comfortable doing. Um, and then let me see what else I got here because I wrote it down because I don't want to forget. Um, I already talked about 10 to 15 minutes if that's okay with you. Okay, there is no right or wrong. Okay, so there's no right or wrong on how you do the mandala, but I want you to keep notice as to do you start paint, paint, uh, coloring it from the center out or from the outside in? And because that has meaning of how you are connecting and what, what it means towards the end. Okay, so... Dun, dun, dun. And yeah, okay. So that's basically how you do it, right? So. You choose the mandala that you want. Today is pre-printed work. You put some type of music, you set a time where you are not going to be um, distracted and then you start working. Now, if you have the pre-printed ones and you have a book or something like that, then you're going to have more of them, right? And you can repeat this. Hi, Emily, thanks for being here. Um, so you're going to be able to repeat this and, and do it at other times and what you're going to start to do is you're going to start uh, coloring these mandalas and then listening to your music and you're going to start thinking of things or drifting off and those are the thoughts that you want to be paying attention like not be like not thinking like hmm what am i thinking of or what's coming up but kind of like what is popping into my head what is coming in? Those are your messages from your higher self and start noticing those. The more you work on these, the more you're going to notice those messages that you are receiving and they're going to feel like your thoughts. Okay, so a lot of this, um, um, yes, Emily says, I always love coloring. Yes, me too. Um, so a lot of the things is going to feel like that's all what is all that it is. It's just your thoughts but those are the messages. That's how you start to pay attention. And then you're going to see that the more you practice this and the more that you are connecting with your higher self, the more these things are going to start to make sense to you. And if you, if you follow those thoughts, if you follow, you go along with it, then things start to get easier because you start to be more in flow with yourself. So that is uh, my message for today for the um, coloring mandalas and connecting to your higher self. On the next one, I'm going to cover how to use and how to read your mandala with using colors. Um, I'm also really excited because I, I'm going to have a class and that class is going to be in March. Actually, I'm having two classes, so it's two different dates. And I'm going to post something about it uh, sometime this weekend because um, it's not ready yet, but the idea is here and everything else is here. So I had to go ahead and put it out there. Hi, Patty. Thanks for coming. So nice to see you. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm feeling so much love from you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anyway, so um, I'm going to have a class later on and I'm going to post on that sometime this weekend or early next week because I don't have all of that ready yet. And that's going to be a painting one. So if you are uh, wanting to learn how to paint your own mandala, then that's going to be the class for you. You will need to have your own um, materials. PM me if you are thinking about that and you want to do that, and I'll let you know like where to get stuff. You can usually get like a really good bundle or like on Amazon that has like everything in it, like your paint and your canvas and your brushes and everything, if you have nothing. And if you're already an artist and you already have stuff, then you don't really have to get anything. Um, but anyway, today's lesson and today's... Uh, connection on how to connect with your higher self by using the printed the pre-printed mandalas was about that because a lot of these you can find the, the sacred geometry because they are already there you don't have to draw this those are kind of difficult to do if you don't have the materials like a compass and stuff to to do all of that stuff so that's a great way to do it okay the next one's going to be about color and the third one is going to be about how to draw your own okay so keep an eye out for that and uh, i love you guys thank you so much for your support and being here i am feeling your love and um i'll see you soon bye bye